Hi, my name is Phil. I'm the team mechanic, and I'm also Grace's father. I've had a lot of people ask me how do I use the scissors a tire removal tool. So I'm going to show you a brief video today on how I do that. Uh, I like to first get a pocket so I can sit down. What we're going to do is just take this. First, we're going to take this. Uh, Bead locks off. Let the air out. Then we're going to use those. We're going to do that to every single one of the tires. Same, old, same thing with the rear tires. Once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard to do a complete tire change. So what I like to do is use Windex. I don't use anything else. I use soap and water. Windex is the only thing I really use. And I take my first tire and I'll spray some down. Now the bead locks are off. We're going to break the bead on the bead breaker. And this is already set for the front tires. So I'm just going to come down right before the rim and then push down. Rotate it. Rotate. So you do the back side. And that's it for that one. We'll do the next front one. It doesn't really take that much effort. That's it for the front. We're going to have to do the back. We have to now readjust our tool. So this speed breaker is a Streetster speed breaker, just like the card stand. It's a Streetster. It's a really good product. I'm not getting sponsored by them. It's just something that we decided to buy. That one's done. Another fun thing. We're gonna take the tire, and this is the front. I consider the front tire where the stem is. All the work we're gonna do is on the back of the tire. So what we're gonna do is you take the back of the tire, make sure it's up. Put the insert in. You're gonna take this portion of the scissors tire tool and you're just gonna push it in so that it just fits with the lip of the bead and we're going to roll it over. Once you roll it over, it lines up with that hole in the center and we drop our pin in. Once we drop the pin in, we're going to open it up a little bit. I like to turn it, use my feet sometimes, and then boom. As easy as that, it comes off. We'll flip it to this side. You use now the back portion of this, not the front, the back. We're going to put it right there between the rim and the tire, and you just kind of push and it comes off. So that's one done. Side, same thing. The stem is up front. We're going to do the back. Push down the tire a little bit. We're going to put it in this notch again. Put our insert in. Get our pin ready and just roll it over. It's very easy. I know everybody's gonna comment and say, oh, we don't need that tool. We just do it by hand. But I tell you what, this has really saved my fingers. It's really easy to use and it's effortless as far as I'm concerned. Same thing, 
you just have a little gap there. You're gonna use now the back side of the tool. We're gonna push it in here like that and just gently push it up. That one's done. The back ones are a little bit more difficult. We're gonna do the same thing. The front of the tire has a stem. It's gonna go down the same way. We're gonna push that to the bead. Put our insert in, roll it over. This one is a little bit tougher because it's just a bigger tire. But once you get it rolled over, we drop our pin in there. And this one, I hold it with my, my feet. And then now you gotta put a little effort into that. Pops out there, same thing. There's a little gap right here. And if it's not, I just push down on the tire a little bit and then I put this part in, just like that. And then we just flip it up. Sometimes it can be stubborn. But once you get it somewhat fun, it should pop up like that. No one's going. Do it the last tire, same thing. The stem is up front, we're doing the back. This groove goes in there. Roll, roll it over. Drop our pin in. And just open it up. plastic on until we're ready to race because it kind of helps keep the dust and uh, drop any chemicals or anything on it. Some people will pit peel it off, it's your option. I found it just easy to do it just before we go out on the track. But these tires, they're MG Reds uh, because we're junior, we run the Reds and they're directional. So you're going to find on each tire there will be arrows. On this tire, the arrows is on the side with the red MG and it shows the arrows going this way. With that said, on these carts, you always want to go the direction of the cart. So you're going to get one side with MG red showing and the other side with no MG red showing. So I'll show you how we do that. I use a little bit of Windex, spray it on the feet of the tire. Now we do the very reverse. This is the back of the rim. We're gonna push that into the tire like this. Then we flip it around. We're gonna put our insert back in. And now we're gonna use the back portion of this. You wanna hook the rim on this lip inside here. I'll show you how to do that. I usually like to kind of set my pin in there and then I'll push the tire down and then it will hook the rim. So I'll do it like this. Push down, it hooks, the pin falls in, and then we just move it around. Just like that. It's not too bad. And then I try to even the tire out so that when we pump it up, it will inflate. If you get a little if the tire sits like that a little bit, I'll, I'll reach in there and I'll pull it out with the tool. There we go. Now she's ready. We'll do the next one. So this one, the direction of the tire, we put with the arrows on the front. The next tire, we're going to make sure that the MG 
will be on the back, so it will have no MG Red logo. Spray a little Windex. Same thing. We're going to push this down. We'll put the pin in. And then push. It hooks. Pin goes in. And we're just going to walk it around the tire. Now that one didn't really go to plan, but it's no big deal. It will still work when it's done. Now it's opposite for these. For whatever reason, these seem to be easier to do than the fronts. So, same thing, MG for the front on one, and then one with no MG on the front for the other one. So this one will spray down. Back of the rim goes in. Insert back in. Same thing. clips back in your bead screws just a couple of turns you don't want to go too far just a couple of turns just a couple of turns and then we'll apply the air and it should pop you should hear two big pops And we're just gonna put. So all you have to do is just mount it on your car, put whatever whatever uh, PSI you want in there, and then off to the race you go. 